Demi Lovato, who is a Hollywood celebrity. I don't even really remember what she's known for, but she has gone off the deep end in recent years. She has just gone viral again for spreading all kinds of kooky ideas about aliens and about the universe and about the energy man, you know, and the vibrations. And people are making fun of her and she's radically changed her appearance in recent years. And she is, is indulging in all of these strange sexual ideologies and new agey type of uh, religious views. But what's even crazier is that Demi Lovato is no more nuts than your average secular <laughs> liberal today. Demi Lovato goes on some show, I don't know what show it was, and explains her encounters with the supernatural. I decided to sing for them, and they went off when I finished. They I never had a standing ovation from ghosts. I love it. But this, I'd like to think they were standing. The standing ovation with my tios is otra, otra, otra. <laughs> You've made contact. I have made contact. It's not been in like the ET phone home type of right. sense, but I have made contact by meditating and looking up and seeing things in the sky that weren't there when I started meditating. So now that you've made contact with ETs, mm -hmm. maybe not this kind of contact just yet. <laughs> not yet. But if there was an ET that hit every box of criteria that would be like the most ideal partner. Like, would you yes. date an ET? Yes, absolutely. I'm so tired of humans. <laughs> I'm so tired of humans and their human bull <laughs> I am so over it. I Bring love it. Bring me an alien. Uh, Bring yes. me an ET. Yes. So a lot of people watching this are, are saying, don't do drugs, kids. Not even once. This is your brain on drugs, not even. Uh, that, that would, that's a good argument. But I'll go further than that. I don't think that Demi Lovato is especially nuts. Certainly not by the standards of Hollywood. But I don't even think she's really especially nuts by the standards of our secular liberal culture. I think a lot of people believe the stuff that she believes. I think if you, she might be a little more open about it and she's going on TV shows about it. But I think if you polled your average millennial girl in LA or some liberal place, and you said, hey, do you believe in, in aliens? Probably you'd hear, yes, I do believe in aliens. Of course, it's a big universe. We're not so special. Of course, there have to be aliens out there. Okay. Do you believe in ghosts and spirits? Oh yeah. Yeah, man. Cause I'm not really, I'm not religious, you know, nah, religion's bad, man. But you know, I'm spiritual, you know, I'm really spiritual. So I don't, you know, I don't go to church, but I go to yoga, you know, and I meditate and I'm really, and I have crystals and I'm in touch with in my horoscope. You know, I'm a Libra with an ascending Scorpio and I was born at the hour of the moon on, if, and you you know, Mercury's in retrograde. So what that means is that the universe, man, is putting out vibes. And you'll hear this crap for hours. <laughs> if you go to a party in LA or maybe a little less so in New York, people are slightly more grounded in New York, but Austin, I don't know, San Francisco, you go anywhere where the secular liberal culture is vibrant or vi as vibrant as it can be, you will hear this kind of stuff. Okay, this watered down new age weirdness. And it reminds me that uh, while the secular liberals believe that religious people, Christians especially, are superstitious, most superstitious people in the world, actually, it reminds you, we are the least superstitious people in the world. Traditionally, religious people tend to be the least superstitious people in the world because contrary to the spiritual but not religious people, the people who take religion seriously apply rigorous systematic thinking to their religion. Thomas Aquinas was not spiritual but not religious, right? Thomas Aquinas applies rigorous logic to his religious views and, and discards certain views that were popular at the time and goes further on other views. This is true of all serious theologians. There was a great, there is a great meme I saw going around of uh, someone who was uh, in swimming in the ocean and had a fishbowl on his head. And the fishbowl said religion and the ocean said spirituality. 
And uh, my, my friend posted this meme and he said, uh, oh, you mean that the, the glass allows you to see things more clearly? <laughs> actually puts, glass actually puts things into perspective? Yeah, I guess that is what religion does. Uh, this stuff is much more pervasive. And, and I think that uh, we, uh, rather than just uh, laughing at the most extravagant people who push this, this kind of craziness, maybe we ought to take a look at ourselves and examine our own beliefs and think, hi, huh, if Maybe my views aren't so different from Demi Lovato's, and maybe that's a problem, and maybe I should start thinking more seriously <laughs> about the universe, man, and my place in it. Glad you liked that clip. Hold up. Ring that bell. Ring it. Ring it, then you'll get the notifications. And actually, sometimes you won't get the notifications because our dear friends at Big Tech don't always love to give our subscribers, the notifications. That's why you got to go over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play. Subscribe to The Michael Knowles Show. M-I-C-H-A-E-L-K-N-W-L-E-S-S-H-O-W. Subscribe, leave a five-star review. We'll see you next time.